Did you know that a total of 3 to 4 million people are estimated to die during earthquakes in the coming century? Now that's twice the more population of Montreal currently. Now why is that? The problem isn't just the frequency of earthquakes or their magnitude, but it's the population density which matters most these days. Consider the exponential growth of already populated cities. The loss of life under each roof in such case is so much more. The poor design and malconstruction practices across the globe are one of the key factors that make structures highly vulnerable to such risks. Without the seismic increase, without the seismic control construction in earthquake hazard zones, the number of catastrophic events and fatalities will continue to increase, and our predictions are likely to be fulfilled. I'm Mohammad Bli a master's student at McGill, and my research aimed in finding a solution to this very problem by conducting seismic vulnerability assessment. Now for this assessment, in order to obtain universally applicable results, three major things were done. First, the critical ground motion data for former earthquakes were used. And then, 25,000 samples of concrete and steel were obtained from commercial testing labs. And finally, the analysis and simulations of over 800 reinforced concrete frame structures were performed by varying multiple building and material parameters. And finally, the vulnerability curves were the outcome of this research study. This curve is a plot of intensity of earthquake versus damage level in percentage of a building structure. If we have a given level of earthquake, we can determine the damage that will occur to the structure for any specific area and moreover for any specific seismic zone. This one curve, which is a key component of earthquake risk assessment, has many practical applications. This curve can help you save millions of dollars in terms of investment by estimating the damage before the actual disaster could occur. These curves can be used by the banks and other financial institutions by determining specific insurance premium required. Disaster management authorities can use these curves for quick emergency response and post-disaster relief operations. And we, structural engineers, can use them for structural repairs and rehabilitation. Earthquakes aren't fatal. It's our own handiwork that does the job. Who knew that our own creation would haunt us in days to come? Now, I designed these curves for my home country, Pakistan, which is the sixth most populated state in the world. If my work can shelter 180 million fellow residents of my country, surely we can project the same vision beyond the border. Look at these kids. You can feel the helplessness, the anguish. We cannot put a price on human life and working for the safety for seven billion people of my planet is no longer a choice, it's an obligation, and it all begins with this one curve. I thank you all.